The domain of sine and cosine is all real numbers. So domain is negative infinity to infinity. Now the range is a little different. So the range in this case is here. It's between negative 1 and 1. So if we add 2 pi to any value in the interval between 0 and 2 pi, one full revolution, we actually get the same answer. So repeated revolutions, positive or negative on the unit circle, will yield similar results. So it leads to this generalization. So if you have sine of t at plus 2 pi n, that will equal sine of t. Okay, so it'll always be the same. And the same for cosine. Cosine of t, you add any 2 pi um, any number of times, you will get cosine of t. So any function that behaves in a cyclical, repetitive pattern um, are called periodic. So definition of a periodic function, a function f is periodic when there exists a positive real number c such that f of t plus c just equals f of t. So for all t in the domain of f, the smallest number c for which f is periodic is a period of f. So what we want to recall is that a function is even when f of negative t equals f of t, right? So if you plug something in and you get the original back, then it is even. Now it's odd if you plug in a negative and then it becomes the opposite signs for the entire function. So you need to know that cosine and secant functions are even. So cosine is an even function and then the reciprocal secant is also even. Um, we can also think about that by way of the graph. So if you remember last year, the graph of sine looks something like this. And if we repeat it, it goes like this. Um, it is symmetrical across the y-axis, which reminds us that it is an even function, just like a quadratic. Then sine, if you remember the graph of sine, it looks like this, and then it repeats. That oscillates, um, again, across the x axis here, um, but this is symmetric across the origin. So anything that's symmetric across the origin is odd. So sine happens in that way, um, and then sine, and then the reciprocal cosecant, and then tangent and cotangent are also odd. Okay, so the only thing we need to remember is even, is just cosine. So we're going to evaluate sine and cosine. Use a period of sine uh, to evaluate sine of 13 pi over 6. So one way to think about this is just we want to find the coterminal angle. We want to find a value that's between 0 and 2 pi. So we have sine of 13 pi over 6. So what we can do is let's subtract 2 pi. So 13 pi minus 12 pi over 6. That is pi over 6. So we're evaluating sine of pi over 6. And that's the same exact value. So sine of pi over 6, that is closer to the x-axis. So that is positive a half. Use the period of the cosine to evaluate cosine of negative 7 pi over 2. Uh, so we want to find a coterminal angle, again, between 0 and 2 pi, so negative 7 pi over 2. If we add, let's just start with 2 pi, we get uh, negative 7 pi plus 4 pi over 2. That's not enough. So let's try adding 4 pi over, uh, just 4 pi instead. So 4 pi, so that would be negative 7 pi plus 8 pi over 2. That is a positive pi over 2. So cosine of pi over 2, that is at the top here. And so remember, x is 0, y is 1. So therefore, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Now evaluate sine of t given that sine of negative t equals 4 fifths. So remember that this is, sine is odd, so that's negative. So sine of t would therefore be negative 4 fifths, the opposite. 
So try these examples down here. Use a period of the cosine function to evaluate. So just find a coterminal angle that is between 0 and 2 pi. So just subtract or add multiples of 2 pi in order to find it, and then C is knowing whether that's even or odd. So try these out. So if you try this out, um, a coterminal angle to 9 pi over 2 is pi over 2. So cosine of pi over 2 is that same one from above. It is 0. Sine of negative 7 pi over 3, I had to add 4 pi to it. And so when I did that, I got 5 pi over 3. That's actually in quadrant 4. Um, and so I know my sine value is uh, pi over 3 is closer to the y-axis. So therefore, it's a larger number, and it's negative because it's in quadrant 4. So therefore, sine of 5 pi over 3 is negative root 3 over 2. For C, evaluate cosine t. Now, cosine is even, so um, that just means that it's the same exact value. Cosine of t is still 0 0.3.